Mike Biggs and welcome to Ask Mike, which is a question and answer session which is designed to help you as a gardener uh, make your gardening easier, more successful and a lot more fun. And as usual, this is a no hype zone. Liam from San Diego asks, how often should I water my plants growing in cocoa coir? I use RO water. When the plants are very small, you may only need to water every couple of days. The watering frequency is based around several factors, the plant size, the amount of water held by the medium, temperature, humidity, etc. As the plants get larger, your watering frequency will increase. And by way of illustration, if you're a commercial grower we're growing in a greenhouse on a hot day, he may water his plants as often as 20 to 30 times a day. You won't need to do that. We may be looking at it maybe five times a day. If you have your plants in a small pot, say a five to 10 litre pot as I recommend, then you only have to water enough water past the plant roots so it comes out of the bottom of the pot. After about two weeks of growth, the following guidelines will be of help to you and they will make sure you stay out of trouble. Always give enough water so you get 25% to 50% of the amount of water you put in the top of the pot coming out of the bottom. Example, put in four litres at the top, one litre coming down the bottom for the 25% example. They use 25% if you're using RO water or rainwater or some very, very pure water and go more towards the 50% if you're using tap water or bore water where there might be a few dissolved salts. The second guideline is to always measure the conductivity of the nutrient solution draining from the bottom of the container. This should be no more than 0.3 of an EC unit higher than what you're putting in. For example, if you, your nutrient solution is 1.5 EC going in the top, it should be no more than 1.8 EC coming out of the bottom. If you're maintaining your correct runoff amounts and you find the EC of your drainage water is climbing and it's getting above that 0.3 guideline higher than the input water, then you need to water more often. And more often may be an extra two, three times a day. The third guideline is to flush your medium every seven to 10 days with fresh water until the drainage water or the leachate runs out at an EC of about one. Immediately after doing that, give it a nutrient feed. Well, thanks for joining us. If you have any indoor gardening questions, just email. This is Mike signing off.